In this video, we'll talk about pre-wedding photo shoots, the meaning of pre-wedding shoots, what you should bring for the photo shoot, how much it costs, and why you need one. Hi guys, it's Simba. Welcome back to KSIM Speaks, the channel where we talk about everything that is wedding related. We give you the best wedding advice, ideas and tips, the best bridal dances, and how to make your wedding a success. Before we begin, we upload videos every week, so be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss when we drop a new video. We are also giving away a free digital book of this episode that you can download to help you with the tips that we give you. So make sure you watch until the end to claim your free book. Alright, let's get straight into the action. There are so many words for this. Engagement photo session, pre-wedding photo session, pre-shoot. A pre-wedding pre photo shoot is a short photo session with your wedding photographer before your wedding day. When you actually do the session is up to you as a couple. The main aim of the pre-shoot is to get used to being in front of the camera, build a relationship with your photographer and receive romantic photographs that you can use to create a guest book invitation cards, bottled water, branding, the list is endless guys. Getting to know your photographer is very important as well as the photographer getting to know you as a couple as well. You can spend a little bit of time in a low pressure situation talking about overcoming your fears of getting photographed and rehearsing the role of being models in front of the camera. I've seen a lot of couples who say or believe that they don't come out well on pictures the pre-shoot will take away all these fears and doubts. Before the shoot, book your photographer. This person will make or break your pre-wedding shoot, so choose wisely. The key things to look out for when you pick your photographer is to look at their photography style. It's easily seen through their past works and portfolio that suits you and your style. Or better yet, some offer pre-wedding shoots for free when you book your wedding with them as a complimentary service. Number three, check out the reviews, how other couples have found their service. Choosing the right photographer is a broad topic, so I can't list everything today, but I will definitely do an episode in the future, so do make sure you subscribe in order to see the video. Once you have found the perfect photographer, the next critical element will be the location. Be it local or overseas, talk to your photographer and share with him or her your vision for the shoot. With their experience, they should be able to help you narrow down a few locations and propose timings for the shoot that would maximize the natural light at these locations. Every plan is always perfect on paper. However, you might need to come up with the plan B too. In case wet weather or other unfortunate circumstances cause your plans to change on the day of the shoot. What is a photo shoot without a good makeup artist? Most popular makeup artists are booked out six months to one year in advance, so try to book them in advance. It is highly recommended to do a trial session with the makeup artist ahead of your actual shoot. Try to look for inspirations of makeup looks and their styles to share with your makeup artist ahead of your trial sessions to help them along. Speaking of makeup artists, we made a video on how to choose the best creative makeup artist for your day. You can see the video by clicking the card right here. Depending on the hairstyle you are going for, your makeup artist might ask you to make certain changes to your hair prior to the shoot. For instance, dyeing it a different color to help highlight the braids etc. So make sure you book your appointment with your saloon ahead of the shoot. You should also book your manicure and pedicure. This might sound like it is too much guys, but trust me, all these trials will contribute to you having a smooth wedding in terms of service providers. You have a limited amount of time for the shoot, so it is a good idea to prepare ahead for the poses that you find less cheesy or awkward for you and your partner. This is extremely helpful if you are camera shy. Practicing before the shoot can help you get used to it ahead of the actual day. To further help you along, 
you can check out a great website called Pinterest. I've seen a lot of ideas there in terms of poses. I will also leave a link in the description below of a pre-wedding shoot we did that we uploaded on Pinterest for you to see. He was hurt after a long day of shooting. So make sure you bring along comfort slippers and blister plasters so you can still put on a smile and sort of a frowning face hours into shooting. Water is life, like they say. As the day progresses, you might get thirsty. So having a bottle of water ready can be a lifesaver. There's no universal charge for a pre-wedding photo shoot. Photographers charge according to their country. However, the charges vary based on different factors like shoot location, duration, concept, equipment used and so forth. So for destination pre-wedding shoots, a couple usually has to bear the travel and accommodation charges. On the day, there are items you should bring to complement the shoot. These items include hair tires and rubber bands, so that you can wear your hair in different ways. Hats, jewelry, picnic baskets, wine, champagne, generally a picnic setup. But do not wear sunglasses before you shoot, or you might end up squinting or with watery eyes during your shoot. Just make sure you bring anything you think might make a neat prop or look interesting in the photo. There isn't a dress code for pre-weddings. However, make sure you wait for the location. When in doubt, always bring extra clothes that you can slide into. These days you see couples wearing matching outfits or custom t-shirts, African prints, like those ones you see people wear on their Lobola days. Stick to something classy, coordinate your clothes, wear clothes that you are comfortable in and also play with colors. Speaking of lobolas, we made a video explaining the lobola process and the rise of lobola photo shoots and outfits. You can see the video by clicking the card up here. I know you guys are not always on YouTube, so it is essential that you have the tips I was giving you handy at all times. So I will leave a link to the free PDF that is everything contained in this episode. The download link is in the description below. Apart from pre-wedding shoots, some photographers offer a pre-wedding video that they can incorporate into your wedding invite as well. If you need an idea of this, I will leave a link to the pre-wedding video we did a while ago in the description below as well. After all said and done, do you think a pre-wedding photo shoot is for you? What if you are on a tight budget and your wedding package does not have a pre-wedding shoot? Would you actually fork out money to have one? Or chances you didn't know about pre-wedding photo shoots, would you be willing to have one? If you got married at a time where there were no pre-wedding shoots, would you be willing to do a post-wedding shoot? Let's continue the discussion in the comments below, I'll be waiting for you guys. I certainly love weddings and I hope you guys do too. If you have a video suggestion that you think I should do that is wedding related, let me know again in the comments below and I'll be happy to do it for you. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.